only West Coast King and welcome back to the League of the Americas here with FC Dallas where today we're going to be going up against quite a few MLS opponents. We've got away against New York, home against LA Galaxy, and then we have a cup match against RSL before finally, I think, finishing the episode off with San Lorenzo, who are in sixth place. So some very tough matches in there. A couple of those, a couple of those MLS teams are... Two of the most difficult opponents for me to beat in New York and RSL. So, should be a couple of good matches. So, we start today out on the road in New York. Fitness is a little bit of a problem right now. We have to rotate the team a little bit. But the good news is, everyone is back from injury. Castillo's back from the slight knock that he picked up. And Riveros is going to be making his return today after two months out with an MCL injury. So, I'm excited to get him back in there. I think the team is still very, very strong. Let's head to New York and see if we can't get some points. All right, here we go. Kickoff in New York, and the Rebels have got one of the pacier teams as far as MLS standards go. Not pacier than ours, though. I mean, we have got to have the paciest team in the MLS. But either way, their pace does give me some problems sometimes. So we got to make sure we keep an eye on, especially Verone going up the left-hand side. He is a danger man. Castillo. Come on, Castillo. Oh, Castillo still. Castillo. Now in there. Beautiful cross. So close. Gruezo. On the shot, hits the crossbar, no, and he's going to be offsides probably, I think he is, dang it, so close. Alright, throw in Castillo, let's see if we can go back post for Barrios, Kamar Lawrence, hello? Not sure how that was not a back pass right there, that was almost an own goal though. Jameson, lay it here, and then in there for Carlos Gruezo, back across, goal! Gruezo just looked like he was primed to get a goal in this one. Already he's hit the crossbar. I think it was the crossbar. Maybe it was just the post. I don't know. Either way, Gruezo's been on it today. He gets us our first goal. 1-0 on the road to New York. Oh, what a ball to Dax McCarty. Oh, that that was some... Woo! That was some good play. I, that, that play... That was better than our... That was better than our goal. That was superb passing from New York. And they hit us with a very, very quick reply. McCarty finding BWP, and you know he's not missing from inside the box. That was an exceptional goal. Lizarazzo. That's not bad. Wow! Wow! <laughs> what a freaking free kick that was. That was atrocious. Oh, here they go again. Oh, there goes Verón. There goes Verón. The pace of Gonzalo Verón. I just cannot keep up with him. Oh, that cross in! 2-1 New York. 2-1 New York. Okay. 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 All right. That's okay. Costa back in for Jameson. Jameson for... Who is this? Riveros. Riveros is in the box. Riveros, can you get a cross in? He does! It's Fabian Castillo! Right place, right time. No idea how that ball found him back post, but I'm glad it was to Castillo. 2 all against New York. They, we did exactly what they just did to us. We scored, they scored four minutes later. They scored in the 64th, we scored in the 68th. Two all, baby. Are we gonna whip this in? I think we are. I think we're gonna go kind of far post. There we go, that's, that's not bad. That is not bad. And it is Zimmerman with potentially the game winner. Wasn't aiming for him, I was trying to hit Miazga. I didn't even see Zimmerman in there. But he gets to it and gets us the goal. 3-2 over New York. What a game this has been. Back and forth all the way. Three lead changes in this one. And finally, it looks like we are going to be the ones that come out on top. And another one. Whoa, that was where I wanted it to. Far side. There is Tesho Akindele. Exclamation point on that one. New York had numbers pushed forward. 4-2 Dallas. This one is done. There is the final whistle. Almost straight after kickoff. Wow. That was... That was an interesting one. That was an interesting one. We come out firing, end up going down 2-1 off of a couple of Bradley Wright Phillips goals, but then we push right back, end up winning it 4-2. A good performance from the team. So last game, we were once again led by Fabian the Hero Castillo, and here is a, just a glimpse of what he's done for us this season. All right here are the top scorers in the league. Fabian Castillo on top, 12 goals right ahead of Tevez and Mora, but that's not all. Look at the assists. He has 11 assists to go along with those 12 goals, blowing away the competition in that category. He is, I, I can honestly say, best player I have ever used in any career mode ever. He has been that good, that consistently. 
I, I cannot believe how good Castillo has been. So our next match is going to be at home against the LA Galaxy. They are down around the bottom quarter of the table, around 15th, 16th, somewhere in there. So we're going to simulate this one. More short rest, though. Yeah, this could be a problem. We might not get anything from this. Okay, I'll take a draw. Honestly, I will with the, the number of players that were unavailable for us. 1-1 one, one is fine with me. And for our next match, we are on the road once more to take on RSL in the Domestic Cup round of 16. We're going with a full reserve lineup for this one. We have San Lorenzo coming up in just three days. They're a very good team, so I want my starters ready for that one. So the reserves are going to get the call here. Let's see if we can get this done. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Dallas. Yeah, I said against Dallas. All right? I messed up. All right? Shh. Just let it go. Um, how? What? Oh, what in the world? Those amazing plays just randomly pop up out of the CPU. Like, the stop on the side. I think that was Martinez. And then just the perfect cross in for the headed goal. There have been, like, zero shots in this game so far. And then just suddenly they pull that one out of their hat. That's just... That's so unfortunate. It just really is. I, I just, I didn't see it coming. I, I don't, I didn't know how to cover that. Here we go. Come on, Ortiz in there for Bonner. Bonner. Oh, he hits the post. That was our first shot of the game. It took us 40 minutes to find it. 45 almost. Oh, Zendejas. Zendejas, please hold it. Zendejas, please don't lose the ball. Oh, Zendejas, she's still on it. Zendejas, please hit it. Okay, no, it's going to be a pen. That's a pen? Okay. We'll take that. I don't know if I have a single penalty taker on the field at this point, but we'll find someone to take it. All right, it's going to be Tesho Akindele on the penalty. Beautiful looking penalty from Tesho. Buries it in the upper 90. One all against RSL. It's going to be for Lizarazzo. Lizarazzo now play it through one more for Zendejas. Tony. Butt fucking Beltran. Are you serious, man? There you go, Adams. Nicely done. Over here, Zendejas. Another one. And another one. Beautiful play for Bonner. No! Bonner with a bad touch! Woo! He got back to it. Bonner, my man! You made me very nervous. He has played two games, though, this season. And has scored two goals. Could have had another one in this game, but he hit the post. Still, he's been very good. We have the lead now over RSL. There we go, Lizarazzo. Oh, the ball is in! Save! Finish! Ha! Huh! What? What? <laughs> How did that not go in? What the heck? Just it hit the crossbar and then just sat in front of the goal and no one could get to it. Oh, Aruti. Aruti's on sides. They're at Max Aruti. Oh, he's going to have to bang this near post. Max Aruti scores. That's it. That's going to be the game sealer right there. Max Aruti has finally scored a goal. I swear it's been like three months since he scored one. He picked a good time to get one right there. 3-1 over RSL. Puts this game out of reach. Oh, he... Alright, well, I guess that one's fair. I was going to complain that that wasn't a penalty, and it absolutely... It's just... What? Where's a penalty there? He's just standing there. But it doesn't matter. I mean, we got a penalty that wasn't deserved either, so... We'll give him that one. That's 90... I mean, it's 90 plus. There's no way they're coming back. Hopefully, those sites can save it. All right, Sites, you've done it once before. Can we do it once again? I'm thinking Movsissian's going up the middle. Go up the middle, Movsissian. Okay. Hell of a penalty from Movsissian. It's 3-2. I still think we got this, though. There is the final whistle straight after kickoff. We do end up winning it 3-2. Those were some of the weirdest penalty calls that I have seen. Uh, I, that, that last one especially... How was that? <laughs> it didn't even, I don't even know if he even touched him. The dude swung at the ball and missed and kicked my defender and he got a penalty for it. Don't know how that's a penalty, but either way, we do get the win and we're moving on in this domestic cup. All right, so for the last game of the episode, we are on the road once again, this time to take on a very, very good San Lorenzo team. They've had a little bit of a slide since the start of this episode. They started in sixth place, now in ninth place. But we can't underestimate them. We know that they're a quality team. We've got our first choice starting 11 in there. Fully rested. Ready to go. Diaz is back from his injury now as well. So let's go. Yeah. 
All right, here we go. Kick off against San Lorenzo, and they've got Hector Villalba playing in there today, and they've got Buffarini at left back. I mean, or at right back. Let's gonna see how uh, let's see how Fabian Castillo does against that very strong left side of the team for them. Here he goes already on a run, and there's Buffarini. Yeah, Buffarini's a good defender. Good layoff for Diaz. Mauro Diaz is gonna have a shot here. Diaz, good strike, a save from Torico. Barrios is gonna keep this in play. Barrios back in there. It's gonna be, uh, I think that was Acosta, Gruezo. Oh, good move. No, 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 Gruezo, don't take it back into the defender though. Good spin move from Castillo. Oh, another nice move from Castillo. Still Castillo. Fabian Castillo, please do this one. Oh, he missed it by inches. Castillo just finally got on a good run. Weaved through the entire defense, but puts his shot just inches wide. Through for Castillo. Here comes Fabian Castillo one more time. Castillo, turn it in early. Beautiful play. Fabian Castillo, take it around one more man. Fabian Castillo! Bradford Jameson. How many times does he do that where he just gets in the way? Oh, what the heck was that? He just... Oh, Zach Lloyd does get the ball. Zach Lloyd. Zach Lloyd playing over here. It's going to be Michael Borios. Missed. All right. Well, actually, that shot I just had with Barrios came off of Bradford Jameson again. So we're just going to not play with a striker anymore. Jameson's doing more harm than good. Should be 2 nothing right now, but Bradford Jameson has been the best defender on the field. So we're going to take him off. There is the final whistle. That's unfortunate. That is a really unfortunate game. Bradford Jameson, man. Wow. Usually he's good. I, I really... Don't know what he was doing in there today. He literally blocked two opportunities for goals that were definitely going to hit the back of the net. Goalkeeper had no chance. He blocked both of them. I, I don't understand what he's doing. His positioning is awful. All right, so before we end this episode, we're going to take a look at our youth scout report that we just got in. This is actually the second one we've gotten back. The first one had absolutely nothing in it, so I just skipped it. But this one looks a little bit more promising. So first we have Steve Okuanu. His potential looks okay, but his overall leads me to believe that he's not going to be that good. 29, maybe? That's that's awful at 17 years old. Kyle Wall, a little bit better. A goalkeeper at 6'4", possibly. I'm going to wait another month and see how he comes along. Um, Ethan McCarthy, another goalkeeper. Maybe, again, I'll probably give that another month. This guy, Dave Hollingshead, though, an attacker. Looks pretty decent at 15 years old. Definitely will get him in the youth academy. That's our first youth player that we've signed. And then we have Clint Irwin. Not going to be getting it done there. I might come back and sign Ethan McCarthy. I'm not sure yet. And that is where we're going to leave it for today. We had some average league results. We dropped some points in there. One win and two draws in three league matches today. Caesars dropped to second place, but we still have a game in hand over Atletico Mineiro. So I'm not too worried about it. Again, I don't even really care about winning the title. If we could, that would be fantastic. And I do think it is going to come down to the wire between us and Atletico Mineiro. But honestly, my main goal is to finish top five and get some European football in us next season. And we're 10 points clear of fifth place. So we're well on our way to accomplishing that goal. So I overall, I'm still very, very happy with where we are at. So that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see when we come back for some more League of the Americas with FC Dallas. See ya.